So hello everyone. Roy Bailey was quoted as saying you don't have to be solemn to be serious. So let's not be solemn, let's have fun, even though this is obviously a very emotional occasion for many of us. I had the very great privilege of sitting beside Roy Bailey for the last six years of his life as his accompanist and as his driver. And while we're very sad that we don't have his voice with us on stage, anymore. His abiding talent was to spot good songs when he heard them and make them his own. Songs that told real stories about real people's lives and songs that inspired audiences to sing along with him, which he loved. And I know you're going to sing along with us this afternoon. Well, you must know someone like him. He was tall and strong and lean body like a greyhound and a mind so sharp and keen his heart just like a laurel grew twisted on itself till almost everything he did brought pain to someone else but it's not just what you're born with it's what you choose to bear and it's not how large your share is but how much you can share it's not the fight you dream of not the ones you really fought it's not just what you're given, it's what you do with what you've got. What's the use of two good legs if you only run away? And what good is the finest voice if you've nothing good to say? What good are strength and muscle if you only push and shove? And what's the use of two good ears if you can't hear those you love? It's not just what you're born with, it's what you choose to bear. It's not how large your share is, but how much you can share. It's not the fight you dream of, but the ones you really fought. It's not just what you give, it's what you do with what you've got. Between those who use their neighbour and those who use a cane Between those in constant power and those in constant pain Between those who run to evil and those who cannot run Tell me which ones are the cripples and which ones touch the sun Well it's not just what you're born with, it's what you choose to bear It's not how large you share it, but how much you can share it's not the fights you dream of, but the ones you really force. It's not just what you give, it's what you do with what you got. It's not just what you're born with, it's what you choose to bear. It's not how large you share it, but how much you can share. It's not the fights you dream of, but the ones you really force. It's not just what you give, it's what you do with what you got. Tim Woodland. We tell stories to each other to while away the days. We tell stories to each other to keep the nights at bay. About life and death and love and hate as much as we recall. We tell stories to each other and that is all spin me another one just like the other one spin me and show me the writing on the wall we are dancers romancers answering the call we tell stories to each other, and that is all. We tell stories to each other, exploring history. We tell stories to each other, adoring mysteries. We shine a light into the darkness Shadows dance and fall 
We tell stories to each other And that is all Spin me another one Just like the other one Spin me and show me The writing on the wall We are dancers, romancers Answering the call We tell stories to each other And that is all We tell stories to each other that others want to hear. The devils and the angels, they're dancing in our hair. We tell stories to each other of reason and of rhyme. Happy ever after, once upon a time. Spin me another one, just like the other one. Spin me and show me the writing on the wall. We are dancers, romancers, answering the call. We tell stories to each other. Spin me another one Just like the other one Spin me and show me The writing on the wall We are dancers, romancers Answering the call We tell stories to each other and that is all We tell stories To each other And that is all Amen to that So this next song, I'm going to give it an appropriate introduction It's called Miracles And it's another one of the ones that Roy used to sing and uh, what this song does, it creates a fusion between the philosophies of Hegel and Feuerbach, which was represented in Das Kapital by Marx and Engels in the form of dialectical materialism, which John MacDonald calls the only true, honest, and indeed the only proper analysis of the capitalist system. Now, I mention this. Is that be a test, aren't you? Yes. Because anybody who doesn't like the music <laughs> can join in with the appendix. That will be fine. I'll face you a bit for this. So if you sit back for a while, if you rest and smile and close your eyes, when you wake up, everything will be all right. You just take a little rest, get it off your chest and close your eyes. When you wake up, everything will be all right, but they don't fool me. I don't believe in miracles. And I don't believe that's true. One light, one fight, one little dance, and that's all we do. And I don't believe in fairy tales. And I don't believe in lies. We don't need to fly. But still we try, and that's all we do. I 
I'm ready to believe that the dead will rise and the blind will see and the sun will shine from underneath the sea I could easily accept a man could walk across the skies but when they asked me to believe the rich would let the poor go free well I don't believe in miracles <clears throat> And I don't believe that's true One light, one fight One little dance And that's all we do And I don't believe in fairy tales I don't believe in lies We don't need to fly But we need to try That's all we do I've seen your dreams nailed up to a tree And left up there to die Oh, but I'm ready to believe that one day they may rise I can feel it in my bones If you roll away the stone You might step into the light And the meek will inherit everything here But not by being meek, I fear I don't believe in miracles I don't believe that's true One light, one fight One little dance And that's all you do And I don't believe in fairy tales And I don't believe in lies We don't need to fly, but we need to try, cause that's all we do. Everybody knows the yellow brick road goes up into the sky. The fairy lives on top of a Christmas tree. Yes, and fish can walk, dogs can talk, and pigs can probably fly. But when they ask you just to wait for your reward at the pearly gate, well, don't believe in miracles. But don't believe that's true. One light, one fight, one little dance, and that's all we do. I don't believe in fairy tales, and don't believe in lies. We don't need to fly. Oh, but still we try, and that's all we do. And I no, don't believe in miracles. Cause I don't believe it's true. One light, one fight. One little dance, and that's all we do. So don't believe in fairy tales, and don't believe in lies. We don't need to fly, 
But we need to try And that's all we do And that's all we do Thank you I, I met Roy in, I think it was 1965, when he replaced Martin Carthy in the Free City Four, a group which I'd formed to sing all those great new songs that were being written in the 60s, which you've all now forgotten. Um, and we did continue to work together for another 25 years. And uh, in the 80s, if you remember, there was a kind of... Uh, revival of the threat of nuclear war with the um, Thatcher-Reagan axis. The Cold War was hot, hotting up and they republished the civil defence instructions that we had in the uh, uh, late 50s. It was called Protect and Survive. And you could wake up in the morning and read this in your Surrey Comet. There followed discussion on the role local councils would be expected to play following a nuclear attack. This would involve, the meeting was told, maintaining public morale while disposing of 25 million corpses. <laughs> yeah, they were well prepared. Wing Commander P. Hull, you will be pleased to know, who was head of civil defence in Hampshire, contemplating the prospect of nuclear war, had these heartening words, as long as an Adam and Eve survived in every little hamlet, and as long as they liked each other, we shall have, we shall have this nation going on again. Oh, God. Actually, the song was written in 19, about 1960. It's the first song I ever wrote. I wrote it for an anti-nuclear uh, an anti-nuclear musical, which, um, surprisingly never got performed. <laughs> That's the story of my life, actually. <laughs> Across the hills, the clouds are sweeping Carry poison far and wide And the grass is black and wonderful And the roses withered and died And the grass is still as red love And the grass is still as green And it must have been a shadow In the distance you have seen Yes, it must have been a shadow you have seen can't you hear the children weeping? Can't you hear that mournful sound? And no birds sing in the twisted trees in the silent streets around. I can hear the children laughing in the streets as they play. You must have caught the echo of an echo far away. Yes, it must have been an echo far away. Can't you see the white ash falling From the hollow of the skies And the blood runs red down the blackened walls Where a ruined city lies I can see the red sun shining In the park on the stream And you must have felt a shiver From the darkness of a dream Yes, it must have been the darkness of a dream and death shall raise the hellish harvest Make a desert of this land As the grass is still as red love And the grass is still as green And it must have been a shadow you have seen Uh, I was more than delighted when Roy sang one of my songs uh, and not only did that but um, it was the title track on one of his children's albums and I've always felt the greatest respect for people who bothered to write and perform for children. Uh, this is the song, it's called Up the Wooden Hill to Bedfordshire and that's what we used to say when it was time for bed. Did you ever do that? 
See, you're nodding off already. Yes. <laughs> so it works. This is actually a lullaby I wrote for Nancy. I had put her over my left shoulder, heart to heart, and rock to and fro, and tap her back. Which was hard because she was 18 when I was. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep for man, and I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll tiptoe very quietly so nobody can hear, and we'll go up the wooden hill to bed for cheer. You're fragrant as a flower, your smile is like the sun. Go to sleep for mammy, her work it isn't done. Nothing's going to harm you, you can sleep without a care When we go up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire I've rocked you on my shoulder, walked and walked the floor Go to sleep for mammy and I'll not ask for more All the songs I ever knew, I've sung them in your ear Now please go up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire Your mammy and your dad Need some loving of their own Go to sleep for mammy You'll not be all alone For when you are asleep There'll be a creeping on the stair And we'll come up the wooden hill To Bedfordshire So slight change of subject, but not real change of um, theme, because if, if this isn't the first song I ever learned, it's definitely up there. It's Absolutely. very, very up there. So I'm going to sing a song called Abby is a Cop, uh, which was written by Leon and recorded by Leon and Roy on an, an incredible album. Well, they're all incredible. Uh, but Love, Loneliness and Laundry, I think, isn't it? Is it that I one? I think so. I think so, anyways. Um, I sang it once and it didn't go down very well. <laughs> And as you develop as a performer, you get a sense of sort of knowing how to, um, I suppose, kind of tailor your material to your audience. So you make a connection, you know, and you, you know that it's a, maybe the right song for the right moment. And um, although this is an incredible song, and as I say, one of my very favourites, the way that Roy's and Leon's voices intertwine in this song to tell the story is just an otherworldly. It's wonderful. Um, but I think that in retrospect, a song about Abby is a cop who was a heretical preacher who believed in free love, was anti-capital and pro-poor, um, was maybe not the right song for songs in the story corner when I was five at school. <laughs> so, this is Abby is a cop. Abby is a cop did away with sin my body is my church he said God's dwelling is within all I do is holy Abbeyza cried gave his loving freely a ranter till he died so drink a loving cup to Abbeyza Abbeyza he's a drinking dancing roaring ranter Abbeyza cop Abbeyza cop a pox upon the pious and on what the scriptures teach I'd sooner hear a tinker curse than hear a vicar preach shameless in his pleasures drank and smoked and swore embracing as his fellow creatures beggar thief and whore so drink a loving cup to Abiza, Abiza, he's a drinking, dancing, roaring ranter Abiza cop Abby's a cop The righteous said the devil will take cop and his kind The devil is God's backside said cop and hell's a state of mind Women are the only heaven Marriage is the only hell Abby's a cop Knew it very well So drink a loving cup 
to Ibiza, Ibiza, he's a drinking, dancing, roaring ranter. Ibiza's a cop, Ibiza's a cop. Through the streets of London, Ibiza came. Heard the hungry cries for bread, he was a soul in pain. When the nobles in their coaches passed, he charged with wild eyes and gnashed his teeth in anger and roared up to the skies. How, how, you rich, you nobles, you will reap soon what you sow, for the day of doom is coming that will lay the mighty low, and your property will canker, and your houses will decay, and the rust of all your silver will burn your flesh away. So drink a loving cup, to Ibiza, Ibiza, he's a drinking, dancing, roaring ransom. Ibiza cop, Ibiza cop. Community in all things, Ibiza said. The naked shall have clothing, the hungry shall have bread. The great man jails the cut purse, the rich man starves the poor. Without property, said Abiza, theft would be no more. So drink a loving cup to Abiza, Abiza. He's a drinking, dancing, roaring ranter. Abiza cop, Abiza cop. Accused by church and parliament, attacked on every side. They banned his books and burned them, and he was seized and tried. The magistrates condemned him for vile blasphemy. He pelted them with nutshells, crying, Will you my judges be? To Newgate jail they took him. The ranter's dream was dead. He had no taste for martyrdom. I will repent, he said. I banished sin and I have heard it cannot be denied. For these are sins, greed, tyranny, hypocrisy and pride. So drink a loving cup to Abiza, Abiza. He's a drinking, dancing, roaring ranter. Abiza cop, Abiza cop, Abiza cop. Did away with sin. My body is my church, he said. God's dwelling is within. History disowned him. His ghost they cannot kill. Haunts the rich and righteous. Drunken dancing still. So drink a loving cup to Abiza, Abiza. He's a drinking, dancing, roaring ranter. Abiza cop, Abiza cop. Yeah. Thank you. Leon Rosserson. Many a church we've sung that in. <laughs> My church will. This is after um, Three City Four broke up, we decided to carry on singing together and we started recording together in the mid 70s. And this song comes from the first um, LP that we made. You know the story, uh, uh, go, you know the bit in the Bible, it says, Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider his ways and be wise. The ant on the grasshopper, everyone knows how the story goes. How the ant was diligent, never spent anything lightly. He laboured wisely and gathered his store for tomorrow. As for the grasshopper, glad of the summer sunshine, light as the wind on the broken water. His song he gave to the summer days, singing where the dance is out alone. Then came the hard winter, nothing grew. The ant was safe and sound on the ground, carefully counting his pile around him, dividing his time until tomorrow. As for the grasshopper, blown by the north wind's fury, hungering for the easy summer, 
comes to the ant and says, My brother, give me bread. Now is the dance that I must follow. Why did you waste the summer? Summers don't last forever. You're just an idle beggar. You must pay the price, sacrifice. You would not heed me. It took life easy. Now take the punishments that follow. Now see the grasshopper reel like a dry leaf falling, weaving a dance that will last forever. Back goes the ant to his nest to work, to feed, to rest. For him there will always be tomorrow. And the grasshopper, everyone knows how the story goes. How the ant was diligent, never spent anything lightly. He laboured wisely and gathered his store for tomorrow. As for the grasshopper, glad of the summer sunshine, light as the wind on the broken water. His song he gave to the summer days Singing where the dance leads up follow Now the sky is filled with voices, now the sky is filled with voices. 
When you get, get to 85, your hearing goes, can't remember anything, <laughs> and uh, where are we? Uh, yeah. uh, I, I could not have carried on singing in the physical condition that Roy was at the, at the end, um, uh, but he, to sing for him was everything. It's what kept him going, along with the care of, his, of Val, and Mark over there, who helped him get through these last years, which could not have been easy. And uh, as Sandra said, he, he did sing children's songs, loved to sing children's songs, and I know that this song was one that he kind of adopted. You need skin to take good care of it. Whether you're fat or whether you're thin, it stops the germs from crawling in. Whether you're skinny or whether you're stout, it stops the blood from trickling out. You need skin to take good care of it. Don't have a hair of it. What would you do without it? Keep it clean. Soapy water every day will wash the dirt and smells away. Cause you need skin. Whether you're black or whether you're brown, it stops your tummy tumbling down. Whether you're silly or whether you're smart, it stops your, your bones, bones from falling apart. You need skin to take good care of it. Don't harm a hair of it. What would you do without it? Eat it clean. Soapy water every day. Whether you're dark or whether you're fair, skin's the thing for growing hair. It's waterproof in rainy weather and keeps the bits of your body together. Very good. You, you need, need skin to take good care of it. Don't harm a hair of it. What would you do without it? Keep it clean. Soapy water every day will wash the dirt and smells away. Cause you Okay, so the next one is um, Rosa's Lovely Daughters. Uh, this was written by Rob Johnson. Uh, do please join in with this. I'm sure lots of you know it. Yep. Who's that walking miles for water? Who's that sweat chopping all day long? In the hard south, in the cold north. Who are these proud and strong? These are Rosa's lovely daughters. These are no Blush and brides. These are Rosa's lovely daughters, and they will not be denied. From the workbench in the back room to the benchmarks on the
while their good wives stand around and they weave. But we are singing as we're dancing. We are no man's to give or keep. We are roses, lovely daughters. We are no man's blushing bride. We are roses, lovely daughters, and we will not be denied. We're in trousers or short skirts, as we please. We walk at night together in the center of town. We are free spirits, sweeping the night back. We are wildfire across dry ground. We are roses, lovely daughters. We are no man's blushing bride. We are roses, lovely daughters, and we will not be denied. Johnson, as you know, uh, many of you will have first come to his writing through Roy Bailey. Roy was a huge fan of Rob's work, and Rob is still going strong. He lives down near Brighton in Hove, and he wrote this remarkable song uh, around about the time, just after the, the terrible incident in Zeebrugge Harbour, and uh, it's uh, one of his best. It's called The Herald of Free Enterprise, and uh, Roy would have insisted that you sang. The chorus doesn't come around for a while, but when it does, it doesn't stop coming around. So please join us on this brilliant song by Rob Johnson. Sun goes down now across the sea. We're homeward bound now and on the duty free. The harbour's quiet, the kids asleep. Tired out from Europe on the cheap. There are no poor now, we all have cars. They're parked down below now Where we took off the stars On television If not the sky Well the ocean moves us We don't ask why We feel a ship slip From the bottom of the land We hope your trip went Just like you planned we see the lights along the shore But not the overworked crew And not the open door And in the cruel box sea Our lives go down In Zeebrugge Harbour All night we drown And now the owners grow old While we die young with the blue murder stuck in our lungs and the ship we sail and the flag she flies it is the herald of the enterprise yes the ship we sail and the flag she flies it is the herald of the enterprise Now you can salvage a ship up from the bottom of the sea Recycle pop stars to sing let it be Sell lorries for scrap, whitewash the company 
but you can make no more money out of me. And each life lost, much loved, much missed, we're all of our names on some passenger list. Well, it's too late for May Day, we sink too fast. When the profits come first And people's losses come last Sing it loud! And the ship we sail And the flagship lies It is the herald of re enterprise Louder! And the ship we sail And the flagship lies It is the herald of re enterprise Well sung, well sung music on the mark. Roy would be very proud of you all. Well, the next song that Mark asked me to sing actually is a connection to Roy's extensive time in Australia. He was extremely fond of Australia and uh, I got to know him there when I was just a kid because he used to come over and uh, very fortunately for me, stay with my mum and dad and my sister in my house in Sydney and uh, this voice that had been in my head all my childhood was suddenly a bloke drinking gin and tonics in my living room <laughs> and uh, taught me so many things, including uh, some great songs. But this is one that Roy learned like I did from my dad, Bob, um, who can't be with us because he's in the Blue Mountains, but uh, Mum and Dad would love this show and they'd love to be part of it as well. So I'll be thinking of my dad, Bob, from whom both Roy and I learnt this song about railway closures in Australia. It's called The Poison Train. Uh, Roy used to sing it quite slowly as a lament. I sing it more like my dad, who sings it a bit more defiantly and with an edge of train speed to it, which I've asked Andy Cutting to attempt, and uh, you know when you ask Andy Cutting to attempt a train on the, on the box, you're in good hands. Andy Cutting, ladies and gentlemen, there he is. Uh, a train expert. Just be a train, be a train. So your bit is, there's a light down the line, let it shine, shine, shine. There's a camp down the way, all the fettlers will be coming home today. And if you don't know what a fettler is, it's someone who fettles. That's all you need to know. <laughs> All the people moved away And all the houses standing empty In the dry and musty day No one cares for this old town Now the money's not around And the railway lines are rusty And the station's fallen down There's a light down the line Let it shine, shine, let it shine There's a cat All the gutters flowed with beer And all the people stood beside the line To watch and wave and cheer All the speeches that were made When the bosses smiled and said The good times are just beginning Follow us and you'll go ahead There's a light down the line Let it shine, shine, let it shine There's a gap down the way Why? 
afraid it would be a thing of pride To walk across it drunk or throw a stone to the other side And the buildings stood so tall, you would tremble at their fall they just stride out, you'd never know there was anyone there at all There's a light, and the light Let it shine, shine, let it shine There's a path down the way All the painless will be coming home today Saying to the children at their play You better go home early And you'd better stay away Stay away from the line Can't you hear the railway humming Where the grass has grown too tall And the poison train is coming There's a light down the line Let it shine, shine, let it shine There's a path down the way Sorry for the grass, all it did was grow too fast And all the weapons were raised against it, it was never meant to last And the man and his offsider, they're all dressed in black As the poison terrain goes through the town and blisters all the track Well it never lasted long, half the town was packed and gone and everybody seemed afraid to be left there alone All the people stayed away and there was no celebration Nobody made a speech today, they closed the railway station There's a light down the line Let it shine, shine, let it shine There's a car down the way Poison Train, thank you. That would be kind of nice. So if you fancy a little waltz, that would be nice. It's a bit slow, but hey, we can give it a go at least. Yeah, named after Catherine, his daughter, who went on to marry one of my best friends, Mr. Martin Simpson.
a couple of songs from me now, one old, one new. Uh, Roy, of course, became a naturalised Yorkshire bloke. I had to translate regularly some of the stuff I'd written, and uh, I can well imagine having to translate Fettler for him. Uh, but he understood this one easy enough. Um, so that must be 25 years ago, the first Raise Your Banners Festival was held in Sheffield. And the organiser phoned me up and said, Ray, we're putting this festival on, who do you think we should have there? So I said, oh, Leon Russellson, Roy Bailey, blah, blah, blah. Oh, thank you very much. And then put the phone down, I thought, oh, I wonder who I'll be on with. That was it, I never heard another word for him. <laughs> so I thought, ah, I know what I'll do. I'll write a song and then I'll get somebody who is going to be on to sing it and they'll say, here's a song by Ray Hearn. I'm really surprised not to see him here. No. <laughs> the trouble is it took me about nine months to write. So it's, it's called Calling Joe Hill and it's about the story of me walking through Wath Woods near our house while the winter splattered on me head. Calling on the spirit of, of Joe Hill, the great wobbly um, industrial worker of the world and songwriter to teach me how to do it. There's a little chorus in a minute for you. Where are the languages we spoke? Sparks from the anvil. When we were music minded folk, calling Joe Hill. And this is the, your bit. Calling, calling. Calling Joe Hill Calling, calling Calling Joe Hill So every two verses do that with plenty of harmonies, eh? See if we can raise a roof Rhymes in the broken beech wood ring Tuneless and chill into the darkness echoing calling Joe Hill leaves in the wildernesses fall fearing no ill down to the deepest note of all calling Joe Hill calling 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 Joe Hill Calling, calling Calling Joe Hill Through the archangel haunted night True songs may still Quicken the dreamer's second sight Calling Joe Hill Teller of elemental wrongs Teach me the skill Maker to maker Tongue to tongue Calling Joe Hill Calling, calling Calling Joe Hill Calling, calling Calling Joe Hill Songs for the hopelessness of friends All through the mill Songs with a meaning in the end Calling Joe Hill and These are the heart's imaginings When there's a will Even the broken beaches sing Calling Joe Hill Calling Joe Hill Calling Calling Joe Hill, calling Joe Hill. 
last time. Calling, calling, calling Joe Hill. Calling, calling, calling Joe Hill. Calling, calling, calling Joe Hill. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. I thought this is a great, this is a song that uh, I'd love to give to Roy. My last communication was him. I've got a song for thee, Roy. I've got a song for thee. And you know what it's like. You just think, oh, plenty of time, plenty of time. And I never got time to sing it to him. So it's it's not. Well, it is. It's for him, but it's in a different sense. And there's a chorus, which again I'd like you to sing if you would. It's called the song lives on. Them old communities, them staple industries are all but gone. But the song lives on. Them tales of things they did when my dad was a kid are all but gone. But the song lives on chorus the song lives on the song lives on and on and on the song lives on the song lives on them things we used to make for everybody's sake are all but gone but the song lives on them tools we would employ girl woman man and boy are all but gone but the song lives on the song lives on The song lives on and on and on The song lives on The song lives on Them mucky clouds of smoke That flavoured every little word we spoke are all but gone But the song lives on Them streets where you and me Found a whole identity Are all but gone But the song lives on The song lives on the song lives on and on and on The song lives on The song lives on And when they say your enemy Is them across the sea You must think on Think on, think on The song lives on The song lives on and on and on The song lives on The song lives on The song lives on the song lives on and on and on. The song lives on. The song lives on. The 
song lives on The song lives on Thank you! Well sung! recorded message from a very special person who we were hoping could be here. Um, so, roll the audio, please. Hello, Roy. Hello, old friend. Peggy Seeger here, just in case you can't see me. You and I were talking duo style a few years ago at the Sidmouth hoop de doo We were comparing notes on our states of non-health, remember? We were standing by the door of the pub. You had a beer in your hand and a Bailey smile on your face and spoke with your usual combination of philosophy, humor, and lack of self-pity and absence of self-indulgence. You didn't go on too long, as many of us over 50 sometimes seem to. We had just agreed that getting old is no party when we were swept up in a tide of festival convivialists. Well, that's what it's all really for, isn't it? We both knew we'd never had quality time and vowed, as we joined the show up to the bar, that sometime in the future we'd get together for quality time. 
We've done that every time we met. But that future was always in the next future. I know you're hearing me. I talk every day to dead beloveds, old friends, even to people I never knew. They hear and I hear them. So let's take up where we left off. My turn to talk. I really need to drink again at your fountain of optimism. I never managed to tell you to your face how many times you'd moved me, inspired me, and just downright entertained me both on and off stage. You set a unique example to us, us being probably everyone you met or sang to or held in family circle. The songs and singing, stellar. A good mix of advocacy, tradition, fun, sometimes bordering on the scandalous. An artist and performer to the last, a friend from the first time I met you way, way, way back in day before yesterday's future. Sidmouth, that was the last time we met Roy. The next time, maybe tomorrow, or in a year, or a decade or two. But when that happens, the conversation won't get interrupted. Of course, that's assuming that I land in the same place as you. <laughs> Whatever. It's about time we have that quality friend time together. I'm looking forward to it. Safe travels, Roy. This is another Rob Johnson song. So, and I thought I might actually share with you... Um, Something because it was about two years before I actually started driving Roy that I suggested that, that maybe that would be a thing that could work out in his favour or both our favours really. I mean, it definitely got me to places like this <laughs> that I wouldn't otherwise have been, and got to meet a lot of these amazing people who I wouldn't otherwise have met. And um, but he said he said no, it's really not going to work. I'm a terrible, terrible passenger, and he was. It's true. <laughs> no, obviously I'm not going to speak ill of him, but uh, and he had a. A splendid car, which was a joy to drive, the like of which I've never driven before. For example, it had cruise control. I've never experienced cruise control. And quite often after, in fact, almost always, after about 20 minutes on the motorway, he would say, have you got it on cruise? I would say, yes, I, yes, I would. I've had it on cruise a long, long time ago. And he had, um, he had a little thing that showed you uh, how many miles till you had to fill up. And he would say, how many miles you got? And... Uh, and he knew he'd just filled it up just before we set off. <laughs> I dreamed the old dream just last night Red and green and going home I dreamed of no more wars to fight Red and green and going home Red and green and going home I dreamed of those who know no rest red and green and going home refugees and the dispossessed red and green and going home repeat it red and green and going home And submarines Plowshare the sand Red and green And going home And factories turned To fertile land Red and green And going home Red and green We heal the sick and the old sea Red and green and going home Leper and the limousine Red and green and going home Red and green and going home and see
We saw our likeness in each face Red and green and going home And with each kindness added grace Red and green and going home Red and green and going home So broke the walls of greed and fear Red and green and going home With love to all things suffering here Red and green and going home Red and green and going home And he cut it These are old dreams, nothing new Red and green and going home And yet to come, nonetheless true Red and green and going home 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 That's, that's Leon just offered to tune my guitar, which is really nice. Roy used to as well, actually. <laughs> Roy would sit there and go, like that. And go, that's what that's all he does. That's all Simpson does. So, so I married Roy's daughter, and it was the best thing I ever did in very many ways. And... Uh, and we had a child, much to <laughs> Roy's initial dismay. <laughs> the kind of guy, he actually sometimes, for somebody who was very, very intelligent, he really didn't think before he opened his mouth. <laughs> and we said, Roy, we're going to have a baby. And I, oh, oh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Roy. <laughs> It is the grandfather. When I married Kit, Roy would announce to anybody who was prepared to listen that he didn't feel he'd lost a daughter so much as gained an accompanist. <laughs> Which I always enjoyed. And uh, so I got to do lots and lots of gigs with Roy, particularly. His, his Towersy gig, and his Towersy gig, he would sing to several generations of children. He would do his children's songs, and there would be all the little tiny kids down the front, and there would be their slightly elder siblings, and then there would be their parents, who had previously been the little tiny kids down the front. And it was really extraordinarily moving. And the very first time that my daughter ever sang on stage, was in that concert at Towersy, and I've got, I've got photographs, and the mic stand had to be at this height for her, so she's just about to be taller than me, but the mic stand was actually as low as it could go the first time she ever sang, and this is what we sang, which Kit wrote, and she wrote it for Molly when Molly was little. I know, I know how old she was because we left the house 
that this song describes when Molly was two. And it is actually such an incredibly accurate description of, uh, of the garden at 306 Albert Road in Sheffield. So sing it with me. I, you know, I've, I've played this a million times and sung the chorus and watched my wife and daughter and, and cried. Uh, so I never learned the words. So, <laughs> so I'm, hoping I, I'm hoping I can do it. Have I, do you ever... Flowers and lots of trees, lots of great big bumblebees, lots of caterpillars eating leaves you can find in our back garden. Spinach, rocket, lettuce leaves, tomatoes that'll go well with cheese, really hot peppers that'll make you sneeze, you can find in our back garden. Dahlias, azaleas, roses too. Camellias, lobelias, purple and blue. Phoebes, Daphne's lilies, you can find in our back garden. Lots of flowers and lots of trees. Lots of great big bumblebees. Lots of caterpillars eating leaves you can find in our back garden. Hedgehogs, squirrels, dogs and cats, doves and pigeons that are really, really fat. In the middle of the night you get foxes that roam around in our back garden. Blue tits, finches, jays and wrens. Two doors down, there's geese and hens To keep them from the foxes, they live in pens Just down from our back garden Lots of flowers and lots of trees Lots of great big bumblebees Lots of caterpillars eating leaves You can find in our back garden Go on the prowl If you listen you can hear The hoot of owl Mum and dad and me are very proud That they live in our back garden My very best friends and their mum and dad too Come camping in the garden Cause it's fun to do It's great to have a whole lot of people Who you love in your back garden Flowers and lots of trees, lots of great big bumblebees, lots of caterpillars eating leaves you can find in our back garden. Lots of flowers and lots of trees, lots of great big bumblebees, lots of caterpillars eating leaves you can find in our back garden. Um, you probably know that Roy was actually given three years to live when he was 52. He had heart failure. They said three years, uh, and only if you cut out really stressful things. So he was at that time a professor at Hallam University and a full, basically full-time professional folk singer. And he looked at the choices and he said, you know what, academia. So he never stopped liking being called professor. However, <laughs> let me tell you, all the nurses at uh, the hospital and uh, the hospice there said, what would you like to be called, Roy? Professor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, dear. <laughs> Not surprising, really. So he gave up being an academic, and he became a full-time singer. And uh, in 2018, he was 82. So he made it uh, 27 years beyond his prognosis. And he did that because he sang. Because singing is really good for you, ladies and gentlemen. I would highly recommend it. Well, and uh, <laughs> it, it really did keep him alive. In 1982, his health began to just really go down. And uh, he ended up... I really didn't think he was going to be able to make the last Towersy gig. And uh, he did. And he was astonishing. And he sang better at that Towersy gig than he had the previous two years. And then he went back into hospital immediately after that, and he was in and out of hospital about five times a week, getting drainage. And uh, the doctors kept saying, well, we, we think we might like to give you a pacemaker because we think it might improve the quality of life, but only if we consider we can really get away with it, you know. So eventually they decided after lots and lots of in-hospital treatment that they would give him a pacemaker. And they sent him a note. They said... Uh, October the 16th, we'd like to give you a pacemaker. And uh, he, he called a family conference and he said, look, they want to give me a pacemaker on October the 16th. But as you all know, it's my birthday uh, on October the 20th and I have a gig, uh, my 83rd birthday gig. And we all just went, so you want to do the gig? And he went, of course I want to do the gig. So he didn't get his pacemaker and uh, he went into hospital basically full time very shortly after that and uh, three weeks later he went into the hospice at St Luke's and he sang you know he sang to the end of his life and I, I would go and sit next to him and just play the guitar to him for hours because he liked it a lot and he was unconscious a lot of the time he had his tubes up his nose and uh, lots and lots of medication and one afternoon I was sitting playing this song to him and he was completely spark out and uh, all of a sudden he woke up and I say he got breathing tubes up his nose and he woke up and he sang the last verse of this song and it was so perfect and I was sitting there not I couldn't look at him because I would have just been unable to play the guitar so I looked over to my right and Steve Heap who used to run the Towsy Festival one of Roy's oldest friends was standing there with the tears running down his face. And it was the last time Roy ever sang anything. I had a guitar lesson the afternoon that he died, so, because uh, I like to keep up my guitar playing. Yeah. <laughs> so I couldn't be at the hospice when he died, but I know that the last thing that he heard as he died was the last, the very last verse of Dick Gochen singing a song for Ireland, which I think is a very good way to go out. This is a song I recorded with Roy years ago, and it's just such an undeniably true song. And it was written again by Rob Johnson, bless him. So I'll sing you this one. There's always the money for missiles and tanks There's always the money for generals and banks There's always the money for new ways to kill But a limited budget for you when you're ill Or oh, there's always enough for a war So there's never enough for the poor
There's always the money for tunnels and roads, for opera and ballet. But what about homes for MPs' expenses and fat subsidies? So there's never enough for nurseries, and the well off they always take more. So there's never enough for the poor. There's always the money for tests they can pass, or fail you for not being white middle class. There's always the goodies for those with most greed, so there's never enough. For those in most need, there's a pay rise if you're on the board. So there's never enough for the poor. Consider how little of life that we know We bring nothing, take nothing, pass through and go We are all of us poor when it comes to the night In need of the darkness, in need of the light If we learn to want less and love more There'd be enough for the poor We learn to want less and love more. There'd be enough for the poor. For there's more than enough for us all. Now, I would like to call upon another good friend of Roy's and a friend of Music on the Mar. I'm just going to hand the microphone down to him for a swift anecdote. Oh, yeah. Keith Donnelly. Yeah. Um, he had a sense of comic timing better than anyone I've ever, ever met. Uh, genuinely. Uh, and I, I wrote a few jokes for Roy. I didn't know I'd written them for him and I saw him telling them, but, um, <laughs> but I also, there was, a couple, uh, there was a couple that he actually came up and asked me if he could tell, and that's, uh, it's a rare thing when, when someone doesn't just pinch a joke, and my favourite of all of them, it's not a particularly good joke, but it was about, maybe it's 20 years ago, um, and he said, oh, I, I'll tell it, and, but I'll, I'll always credit you, I'll always, you know, when I, when I sing these people's songs, I give them name name drops, so so I said, "Oh yeah, of course you can." And the joke it just it went uh, something like, "I invented a new shampoo, especially for new age travellers, and it was called Go and Wash." <laughs> that was it. Just just a silly little. No, no, please save your sympathy. Um, so I I saw him tell it um, the night that he asked me if he could do it. We were at Bromyard Festival together, and he was on main stage in front of about 2,000 people he told the joke they thought it was far more funny than you did because it was Roy telling it and it got to the end and he said and I just I'd like to thank a very special and very talented very funny young man for writing that joke yes that joke was written by Kevin Donnelly so um, and ever since then uh, to Roy I was Kevin Uh, Frankie is going to sing another song for us. I've been visually impaired since my teens. Uh, I've realised how, well, I know, obviously, I don't have to realise, I know how important voices are to me. 
And, you know, and that was one of the things that was just extraordinary about Roy. You know, I first started singing along with him and Leon back in the early 80s. We actually sang together as a trio for eight years. But it could be quite sickening to have Roy singing before breakfast, you know, with as much ease and resonance and power, uh, not a sign of a warm up or, <laughs> for some of us who have to prepare ourselves. But now we've been told that we do have a bit of extra time. I've been given a, a, a song. And it's one that was written originally back in the 1970s by Wolf Biermann, the German poet, songwriter, playwright. It's called Encouragement, and I'm going to invite you. Hey, audience, hello. <laughs> that Waiting. makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That really does make me feel better. Um, uh, and uh, how about you just repeat the last line so we do have a joining in element to it, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Louder. Yes. yes. Put your hand up. Don't you rely on toughness in these hard, hard times. The toughness will possess you, the sternness will oppress you and cause your strength to die. Don't let your strength die. Don't let your strength die. Don't let them make you bitter in these bitter times. That's what they always hoped for, that long before the struggle, we would give up the fight. Let's not give up the fight. Let's not give up the fight. Don't let the fear invade you in these fearful times. For it'll build around you a wall that blocks your way and their power will survive. Don't let their power survive. Don't let their power survive. Don't you rely on silence. We will not waste our time. So little to rely on, rely on us. We rely on you. We give each other life. We, we give each other life. We won't get lost in silence in these numbing times. With hope the trees may flourish and we'll stand strong and honest and these will be our times and these will be our times one of the people that uh, we leon roy and i met in the North America when we were touring over there was a wonderful man, a singer, community organizer, trade union organizer, Cy, Cy Khan. And Cy wrote many songs that Roy sang. This is uh, one of Roy's favorite of Cy's songs uh, called Here Is My Home, and I'm sure lots of you will know it and join in with us. So, dear friends from whom we now must part, 
Where are we bound? The singing voices lift my heart. Here is my home. Come, darkness, come. and thank you for coming out this afternoon if any of you have <laughs> round goes the wheel of fortune don't be afraid to ride there's a land of milk and honey waits on the other side there'll be peace and bells You'll never need to roam When we go rolling home When we go rolling home
gentry in their finery Make roster night and morn Are we into the fields, master To plough and sow the corn The rich may steal the power But the glory is ours alone When we go rolling home When we go Thank you so much. Thank you Jim Woodland, Janet Russell, Ray Ahern, James Fagan, Nancy Kerr, Andy Cutting, Martin Simpson, Leon Rossison, Becky Armstrong, Sandra Kerr, Stu Simpson. And Mark Bloch, ladies and gentlemen.